Jerry, and this is just a short tour of my Lego Duck Toppler, which is the Remix 3, Robot Remix 3. When I looked at the kit for the Dragster, I really liked the colours that were there, so I fancied doing something that was rather carnival-like. So thinking about it, I came up with the idea of a hand-to-eye coordination game, um, utilising the ball shooter that comes with the EV3. So, having a think about it, I came up with the idea of doing a duck toppler, where you have to shoot and top all the ducks. So, this game has three ducks, of which will pop up randomly, and you get to knock them down using the ball launcher, as I'm shown here. The game itself, is, or the model itself, has come up with some interesting technicalities. Neither kit has a turntable, so doing something that's sturdy and allows the user to move it around required the improvisation of a turntable. So what I've done here is I've used the one of the frames and the little wheels to use on the wheelie bar of the drag racer. It has to have a bit of extra support at the back. You can probably just make out a wheel there at the back. So when the person's playing and they push forward, it doesn't all come very, very loose. <clears throat> Coming onto the ducks, the ducks were um, quite easy to think about. It's simply just a, a seesaw using a wheel as a counterbalance. These wheels themselves actually are used to detect the state of the duck. So over here on the left, we have the infrared sensor, which is in proximity mode and can detect these two ducks here. As you can see, I've had to put a little gear in just to make them slightly more reflective than they otherwise were. Um, so I can just measure the distance. Unfortunately, this third duck is too far over, especially as it's the wheels the wrong way around. So on this one, I'm using the light sensor in reflected light mode, along with the little yellow rubber band that comes with the EV3 kit. Um, this is because the wheel's not particularly reflective, but the red band just improves it just enough. Some of the design or large proportion of design is the frame at the back, which is primarily to stop the balls and includes a sort of a ball shoot down the back. It's probably not particularly obvious in this video, but it, the balls, when they drop down the back, come here into this sort of ball corral at the front. Um, I've had to take quite a bit of effort to make sure balls don't get trapped in various places here down the back, because one of the game modes has nine balls, um, which requires the user to reload part way through and if they're trapped, you're trying to fight around behind the ducks to get the balls. One of the things I really like to do was make this thing storable. As you can see, it's quite a long model, and just storing this in my house alone is quite big. So what I've done is made it collapsible. So I'll just put that there. First thing you can do is take the back off, and this nicely sits on top of the ducks, out of the way. The ball corral unclips, and also tucks up underneath, like that. And then finally, if I just cover the top of the ball shooter over to stop the balls falling out, I can turn the whole thing up and over, and it nicely stacks really small.